Hi, my name is Bella, and this is my crazy story. Please like and subscribe. Back in the day, it was just me and my awesome mom having Yay! a blast together. She was a super cool private investigator, and we were obsessed with Sherlock Holmes. We couldn't get enough of his detective adventures. We'd watch movies, read books, and totally geek out. I wanted to be just like her, solving mysteries and cracking cases. By being an only child, I sometimes felt a tad bit lonely. Hey, Mom, wouldn't Christmas be like a gazillion times more awesome if we had some fam to hang with? Why don't we have more family members around? Who are they? Where are they? Why don't we talk about them? Don't you think it's weird? Bella, trust me. Family can be like that yucky fruitcake that looks good on the outside, but one bite and you're like, nope. I can't handle this. Come on, forget about that. And let's binge watch some Sherlock, or Nancy Drew, or Enola Holmes. But I couldn't help wondering about my mom's family. Like, why was she so hush-hush about them? No matter how hard I dug, I got no clues. So instead, I channeled my detective vibes elsewhere, my school. I was the go-to person when there was a mystery to crack. Bella, my bag disappeared. I think someone stole it. Hold on, I'll get to the bottom of this. Did you leave your bag outside the gym? And doesn't Ashley have the same exact bag as you? I'm pretty sure she picked up yours by mistake. And I saw her going into the locker room with Mike 10 minutes ago, so probably that's where your bag is. Wait, she went in the locker room with Mike as in my boyfriend Mike? Uh, yeah. Sheesh, you've got things to work out with those two. I'll take my payment later. Bye! Barry and Ashley, why are your homework answers exactly the same? Who copied whom? Allow me to investigate. Let's examine the evidence. Oh, I see. The ink is still fresh on this one. So it appears that Ashley borrowed a few answers from Barry's homework. Nobody likes a Miss Know-It-All, Bella. Just doing some social work. By the way, is it true you wear wigs? Oh, don't worry. I won't tell anyone. As long as you share those cookies you keep hidden in your drawer. I knew everything in our neighborhood, too. I knew Mrs. Roberts had a crush on her gardener. I knew Mr. Cavill's sneaky dog was stealing Mr. Garfield's dog food. And I knew the thief who was stealing Mr. Andrew's newspapers every morning. A raccoon! <laughs> One mysterious place that always caught my attention was the spooky mansion two blocks from our home that I'd cross on my way to school. Mom had strictly forbidden me from going near it. But one day, when I left school early due to a stomach ache, I saw someone staring at the mansion. Mom? OMG, you gave me a heart attack. Um, what are you doing here? Oh, I was out for a jog and stopped to catch my breath. I hope this place gets demolished. If it were up to me, I'd wreck it down in an instant. What? Who's gonna demolish it? No one. But I hope one day someone does, because it's ugly and it gives off bad vibes. Saying that, Mom picked up a stone and hurled it at the mansion, breaking a window. And then she grabbed my hand and we ran as fast as we could. I kept asking Mom why she hated that mansion so much, and she never gave a straight answer. So I decided to sneak in and see if I could find out anything more about the place or whoever used to live there. The next day, I skipped school to act on my plan. To get inside, I had to climb over the gate, and as I I did. I got scared and froze just a few feet up. Luckily, a man and a girl in a car came to help. Are you all right? Uh, no. Just jump. I'm scared of heights. You're literally just two feet off the ground. Here, I'll help you. The girl helped me get down the gate, and as I thanked her, she noticed I had a long scratch on my arm. Aw, you're hurt. Come in, let's take care of this cut. Her name was Anne, and it turned out she and her dad had just moved into the mansion as the new owners. Anne and I instantly clicked, and when I learned she loved mysteries, I was ecstatic. Every afternoon after school, I'd swing by her place and we'd explore the huge mansion, while her dad would be busy with renovations. We even found a secret door to a dumbwaiter right inside Anne's room. Some weeks later, when she joined my school, I was super happy. We stayed together all the time, except for gym class. Anne wasn't able to play sports because of a condition called hypotension, but she would always cheer for me. Soon after, we had a big sports day at school, and my volleyball team lost. After the match, I went inside the school building to use the bathroom, but as I entered the main hallway, I was shocked to see the trophy display case was broken and the cup was spray painted. And before I knew it, some students walked in and they immediately called in the teachers and principal and pointed fingers at me. I swear I didn't do it. Let's not jump to conclusions, everyone. And carefully examined the scene for any clues using my magnifying glass. Aha, uh -huh. you see this piece of torn fabric on the display case? It's blue, it's from a boy's uniform. So the culprit has to be a boy. And considering how much Dave is sweating here, and his hands have some paint on them, and he lost the race today, I have my suspicions set on him. Admit it, Dave, you're the culprit. <gasps> Dave's eyes were darting nervously, and then he tried to run away. I couldn't believe it. Anne's detective skills were incredible. Anne, 
I can't thank you enough for clearing my name. Aw, Bella, I just did what needed to be done. Remember, I'll always be on your side no matter what. You're my BFF. In just a few weeks, our friendship got even stronger, and I knew she was gonna be my ride or die friend forever. Little did we know that everything was about to turn upside down. On my 15th birthday, mom made a cake. Normally, we always had birthdays where it was just the two of us, but this time, I invited Anne and her dad too. Just as the doorbell rang and I opened the door, mom took one look at Anne's dad and shrieked, you. You have some guts showing your ugly face here. Mavis, Bella, she's your daughter? Um, mom? Dad, what's going on? You both know each other? Used to. Not anymore. Get out, now. With that, mom slammed the door in my guests' faces. She banned me from seeing Anne again, and her dad did the same. Even though we pressed and begged our parents a million times to tell us what was going on, they both refused to answer. But it wasn't like I was just gonna dump my bestie because of mom, so I hung out with Anne secretly. One time, Anne and I went to the movies together, thinking we had it all figured out. When we came back, we found our parents arguing. Get lost, Asher. I'm here for Anne. She never leaves without telling me. But since Bella has entered our lives, Anne's been acting out. Your daughter ruined everything. Oh, just like you and your mom ruined everything when you both came into our lives? And then you went ahead and even stole from me. Stole from you? Are you crazy? <sighs> Look, I didn't do anything wrong. I was just a kid, like you. I know you hate our dad for marrying my mom and having another family, but it's not my fault. Why can't you stop blaming me and move on, Mavis? Anne and I looked at each other in shock. Wait, did he just say, did that mean, could it be? Whoa, my mom and Anne's dad were half siblings? Just then, they spotted us listening to everything and Anne's dad whisked her away while mom dragged me inside the house. He's your brother? I heard everything, mom. I had an uncle, a cousin, and you never told me? How could you? Half-brother, that man is a greedy person. He and his mom broke my happy family apart. What the heck? I'd never seen my mom cry before. Mom, are you all right? Bella, Asher was our maid's son. And yes, there was a time when Asher and I were close, like best friends. But everything changed when I found out we were half-siblings. The truth led to a family split, and I ended up living with my mom, while our dad married Asher's mom. The final straw was when he turned dad against me, and dad gave him that mansion as an inheritance. OMG, I can't believe this. Please, just listen to me. Stop hanging out with that girl. Promise me, Bella, that you'll stay away from that family. Please, promise me. Mom, okay, okay, I promise. The next day at school, I stayed away from Anne as much as possible. She followed me closely, eager to talk, but I ignored her. It really pained me to do that, but I had to keep my word to mom. But then one day, just before school clocked out, Anne swooped in and cornered me in the bathroom, locking the door behind her. Bella, why are you ignoring me? I miss you so much. We need to clear the air about that night. We're cousins. Isn't that wonderful? I wish our parents could move past their arguments. They used to be such good friends once. It was circumstances that turned them against each other. No, Anne. Your dad's the reason my mom's family broke apart. He's a greedy man. What? My dad... He tried reaching out to your mom so many times to give her, just stop with the blabbering. Anne, I don't want anything to do with you. Not after the way your dad has hurt my mom. You can't possibly mean that. I truly do. Now please, get out of my way. I ran home and cried my heart out. I wanted to tell mom everything, and I went to her room, but she was on the phone, and what I heard her say shook me to my core. I've sent the papers to Asher's lawyer. I can't believe Asher tried to offer me 50% of the inheritance. I don't want half of it. I want it all. Soon, Asher will be out on the streets and I'll be the sole owner of the mansion. I'm gonna tear it down and destroy it completely. Mom! Oh my god, that's what Anne was trying to tell me. Her dad did reach out to you to give you your share, but you want it all just to get your revenge. Listen, Bella, please. No, please, I need some time alone. I ran to my room, feeling a whirlwind of anger, confusion, and sadness. My relationship with my mom felt shattered, and that hurt, and I had to apologize to Anne too. I climbed out my window and went to Anne's place and told her everything, and she hugged me tight. I'm so glad you're here, and our parents are family. They have to mend their differences. Yeah, but mom is not in listening mode. Same with my dad. I've never seen him so angry. Just as we were talking, there was a hard knock on the door. Anne, is Bella there? I told you you're not allowed to meet her. Oh my god, it's your dad. He'll definitely tell mom about me coming here. He'll be in so much trouble. 
I have an idea. I followed Anne, and we both entered the dumbwaiter and slowly went down. But suddenly, the floor beneath us gave way, and we found ourselves falling into darkness, landing with a thud. Anne, are you okay? Can you hear me? Bella, where, where are we? Oh my god, it's so dark. I'm scared. No need to be scared. I'm here with you. Your dad will come and get us soon. I tried to get the stupid dumb waiter to work and take us back up, but it wasn't budging. It looked like we'd just have to wait for help. But when I turned around, I saw Anne on the floor. What? What happened? Anne, are you all right? I think it's my blood pressure. I'm feeling so dizzy. Oh God, I had to find a way to get out of here. Fast. I'll be back, Anne. I promise I'll find help. Just hang in there. I started climbing the walls of the dumbwaiter passage, praying for a miracle. Each step was a struggle against my own fear of heights, my hands gripping onto any foothold I could find. I pushed all thoughts aside and just focused on reaching the top. Finally, I saw a glimmer of light above me. I shouted even louder for help, hoping Anne's dad would hear. Anne's dad opened the window to the dumbwaiter and reached out, but I could feel myself slipping. And just as I was about to fall, he leaned and gripped me tight. Hold on, Bella, I've got you. Once I was outside, I took a deep breath and saw Mom was there too. Oh my god, Bella, are you okay? Where's Anne? She's down there. She's not doing so great. I think her blood pressure is dropping. We need to get her fast. Oh god, I can't just sit and wait for the rescuers to come. I have to get Anne. Wait, I'll go. It'll be easier for me to fit inside and grab Anne. Mom quickly descended into the dark passage and climbed back up with Anne on her back. Anne's dad quickly gave her the medicine she needed, and the rescuers arrived at the scene. My girl, you're safe. Oh, I can't thank you enough, Mavis. No need to thank me. I should be the one apologizing, actually. I was blinded by my need for revenge. Growing up, I had so much hatred in my heart that I pushed my only family away from me. I realize my mistake now. I'm so sorry. Mom and Anne's dad got talking, and I was so relieved to see them hug. Bella, you climbed up for me. Facing your fear of heights, I'm so lucky to have a BFF like you. I'll always be there for you, Anne. We're not just BFFs. Hey! We're family. From that day forward, our connection became even stronger. Mom accepted her share of the mansion, and her relationship with her brother repaired over time. During summer break, Anne and I even worked as interns at my mom's detective agency. She told us that we both had great potential. You two could be just like Sherlock Holmes and his companion, Dr. Watson. I'll be Sherlock. No, I'm always Sherlock. Please, pretty please. Okay, fine, I'll be Watson, but as long as we work together as a team. <laughs> <laughs>